Hi guys, how you doing? So let's start. In this session, we're going to talk about job requisition. So I can go to a whole bunch of theory and talk about how the job requisition works and all that, but most of the things you can guess. And I wanted to uh, create this session based on practical so that you can practice, not give you a bunch of theory. So, but anyway, I will just give a very little bit of theory. So you will see the, there are a lot of things connected here. You will see an ERP system and HCM is a, actually it's a part of uh, ERP system, enterprise resource planning, right? So that's the most important part of ERP. Now you will see that when we need people, we need to hire, we need, there's a lack of resources, then there are a lot of steps the project managers will be uh, vouching for uh, that they need uh, billing of, let's say, we do a lot of time calculation that the managers will do calculation that okay this stuff needs this many hours of working this many hours means total 10 resources and now we have eight resources so we need two more resources in one month so they need to do that in advance right so that's how it goes on internally and finally the uh, objective is as a result of that we have the job requirements uh, we see job requirements coming up so the hr will the erp will take into notice all the skill sets from all different locations what is needed and then that a job requisition document will be created that will be posted to different job portals and the cost and all that stuff number of employees all that stuff is justified it's done in a very very planned way right and we will see how uh, how to do that thing in workday but first of all, let's view the job requisition, what are all it is there, the old job requisitions that were created. And let's try to understand on that. Then we will see how to create job requisition, which is very important. So just a job requisition or just a view job requisition, right? So let's just say job requisitions. So we can see many different uh, things. Let's say job requisition by location or by job profile. So let's just see this one. Plus, let's also see this by location. So how does it classify based on the location? So there's not enough data because this is pretty much like testing kind of environment. So it's not that much data we have here. Otherwise, you would have seen a lot of stuff. But uh, OK, still, OK, it's not much. Let's just see this one. So see here, job requisition based on a profile. So the if you see, let's just go to the active candidates, all the candidates, it's just the view report type of this. Uh, job requisition, the candidate name. You can see that and uh, we have only four stuff that is created um we should create a lot of things i will show you how to create it because there's not enough data i thought there will be a lot of data so actually it's there in another environment i this is just for i mean practice which i use and prompts output share advanced okay share so you can see pretty much stuff. Yeah, we'll talk about web services, how to integrate that in web service. We will see worksheet temporary report. And basically job requisition is nothing but it's a document type of stuff that is created to, uh, uh, there's the first initiation, there's the first process for uh, when you talk about recruiting. So let's see some other things that are there. Let's see if we have data in my open job requisition let's say let's see if we have some uh, job requisition job requisition questionnaire you can see the questionnaire and all different things age compensation country uh, now this looks complex because uh, complex in the sense we see a lot of stuff it's not nothing complex uh, see a lot of stuff is there so job requisition let's just say um, restructuring 
yeah you can see some of this what job requisition document salary and all that thing has been created by different different uh, stuff the call center supri is let's just click on this one and uh, so you hire we have a great what do you say graph or a graphics candidates so you see uh, now i think you're getting something right so make a new offer to this guy this guy is interview this guy is on review and you have the resumes in uh, pdf you can even see their resumes this is just for a dummy resume but in real time you will see the real resume <laughs> right so uh, yeah so that's the resume current title and all that things active inactive candidates <clears throat> right average time and stage details um, organizations <clears throat> the call center and all those things where it is reporting to qualifications and job postings and all that stuff right so this was a short session if you want to go deeper just log into the tool and just you can keep on exploring see what are all the different columns that are there and all that thing the values how it looks like uh, this i will stop this session with that in the next session we will actually create a job equation that will be interesting we will see how to create a job equation and see all the factors all the columns that we need to fill up right thanks guys thank you very much for uh, watching love you all